Ladies and gentlemen, the two and a half amigos. <laughs> These guys are loco. If you're looking for a responsible, mature podcast, this ain't it. If you're looking for a lot of drinking, random nonsense, stunts, and shenanigans, you've hit the jackpot. It's the two and a half amigos with your hosts, Albert, Scott, and Mark. Good times. What's going it's, on, it fellas? Good times. It's always a good time. <laughs> All right, I don't think we need a timer this time. Uh, so right off <laughs> on the bat, Muscle Vodka promo time. Musclevodka.net. Uh, make sure you check out Muscle Vodka. Get your Muscle Vodka with uh, using promo code Muscle Amigos. <laughs> Um, muscle vodka is gluten free, no GMO, sugar free, no carbs, 100% corn, organics, distilled six times, reverse osmosis. Uh, it is truly delicious vodka. We had it at our draft, which that episode was garbage, but um, <laughs> we had it at our draft. We drank it. Uh, we still actually have some of the bottle, and it, it's. Uh, I like it. It's yeah, a delicious. Yeah, yeah, vodka is great. I don't drink, but the vodka is good. Yeah, <laughs> you drink vodka. <laughs> No, I don't drink it all. Oh, okay. yeah, that's right. He's sober. <laughs> Sorry. At least two and a half amigos sober. Yeah. Yes. Uh, Redhead Printing. Uh, Redhead Printing LLC. If you mention the amigos when you reach out to them at redheadprinting at gmail.com, uh, or you can contact our rep, Heather, 602-715-6043. Uh, that's where we got our shirts. We oh, do yeah. Stickers. We really like their their printing shirts. Like yeah, that. for that's, for that's kids, a, for women, for, for everything. everything. Yeah, dude. yeah. It's, they do amazing. They, they amazing even do work. they even do decals and stuff too. Yep. So nice. whatever you need, we've asked them to do stickers for us. We've asked them to do iron on stuff. Like they, did they a lot do. of stuff. They did, our, of they did our table they iron did, on. Yep. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, they do a lot of stuff. Hit so them up. Hit them up. They will give you ten percent off your entire order. So if, if you, you, so you mention what. Uh, amigos there you go redhead printing at gmail.com cash now homes sell your house in three easy steps yes as little as seven days right yeah cash offers seven if days. you don't want to deal with the realtor you don't want to deal with any repairs you don't want to deal with commissions uh yeah we'll definitely uh we can definitely get you an offer and uh get you out of that situation that you're in whether it's foreclosure, whether it's a, a rental property that you're tired of renting out, uh, we can get it closed in seven days. Now, now, hold on. Are those seven day business days or work Bus- days? Business days. Or are those the same thing? <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Are. My work ethic no, yeah, is exactly. My I'm working day, every Saturday day. and Sunday. Um, so business. Uh, so yours, your yeah. kind of days, business days. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Good. <laughs> Sorry. Banker days. Banker days. Oh, there you go. That's what I meant to say. Seven banker days. Seven check banker days. check them out at cashnowhomesaz.com. And clearly we did need a timer because Albert stole everything. And Thank you very much. I appreciate like 20, it. We, we, are 20, missing, we are missing one more oh, that we can mention. I know we're over oh, the time. Yeah. Seed Giant. Oh, yeah. That's Seed God. Giant. So Seed Giant is, is a really good one. I, I'm mm-hmm. planning to use Seed Giant. Especially I, now. I, I'm NFL looking, tickets. NFL tickets. Yeah, dude. Perfect time here. We're my NFL player. We're more my NFL fans. What's the discount on them? I mean, what's the the code? Amigos PC. Amigos PC. There you go. Mention Amigos PC and you get a discount. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's a discount. It's it's like three. 5%, 5%. Yeah, but three, five, they're, five. All, they're already discounted. No, so yeah, it's, already, it's already additional discount. discount. Yeah, it's additional three, discount. It's 3% off your order. Yeah, plus, plus they're already discounted yeah. tickets, so there you go. But you're tired of all those fees, those additional add-ons, so why wow. not Why it's, not stick it to them and get a little bit more off? It is the best wow. alternative to Ticketmaster. Yes, I agree. The best. Like, it's hands down. I'm planning to go. use it because I'm, I'm planning to, which you guys can come if you'd like. Oh, are you extending an invite right now? Bert Kreischer. Kreischer is coming September 9th, 15th, yep, 15th here in Arizona. So I want to go. Guess I who haven't, comes I the week after that? Oh. Tom Segura. Oh, oh you're really? buddy. You're looking yeah. like. Well, I'm going to the first NFL awesome. Fucking game. Awesome. I'm going to the first NFL Cardinals game. Oh, thanks for the invite, dude. Oh, no, no, no worries, brother. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, <laughs> Can you believe me? Uh Front row tickets too. Yeah, yeah, I get it from uh from a buddy of mine. Not Sea Giant, thanks. 
no, no, no. He goes through CJ and oh, I go through CJ oh, and we get the okay. discount oh. and then uh, that's oh, when the problem gets, happens. Oh, because it's like a comp thing. You get yes. a kickback. Oh, okay. I'm yeah. going to report you to the fucking news and the commission. <laughs> Make sure you guys check us out on PodCoin. PodCoin <laughs> itself is the best alternative to listening to podcasts. Um, I am not a fan of telling you where you can find us because if you found us, you are listening to us right now, but use the promo code Amigos Podcast and we will get, they will give you 300 pod coins to start off if you're not currently on there. Uh, we are constantly on the bonus there, so you get bonus coins for listening to our podcast, our library. Is that what it is? And then on top of that, if you listen to our entire library, you can easily... Uh, obtain a gift card for like a coffee at Starbucks, um, five bucks off your Amazon order, things like that. Uh, we're also an Amazon affiliate. So if you guys want to go to our Facebook and check out that, I have a post on there. You can click the link, shop on Amazon and enjoy discounts and things that we have affiliated with. Awesome. Very cool. 40 minutes of intro. Yes. Too many things to list. No, I was only like six. That's, That's not bad. That's no. good. Oh, so okay. Like so now times, we're going to go into times. our sponsors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The additional I'm sponsors. Just I'm just sponsors round two. <laughs> Nicely done, Albert. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was actually a pretty good one. Did you guys? Which is, which is rare for Did Albert. you guys like the, the Alfredo joke that I made earlier or no? Was uh, it, about, was it, about Zeke Elliott? Yeah, yeah, I, that was good. Um, yeah, that was good. So one one of our in our fantasy league, I have to, I have to, I have to, I may, I may mention. <laughs> <it like. laughs> so he, um, one of the guys in our fantasy league, uh, picked up Zeke Elliott. Obviously, there was some news that came out today. Zeke is going to be playing. You know, he's going to yeah. be starting. Every he's good to go, basically, right? Um, the guy that picked him up, I said, ah, he's slow, fat. Nobody really likes him or something along those lines. And then I said, yeah, and then Zeke's not that great either. Uh, oh. Oh, that's good. He was trying to steal my joke. <laughs> that was your joke? Uh, but not like that. It was in a, on, a, on another. What was it on? I don't know. Uh, when, it? It is, that's yeah. not your joke. How's that you, your joke? You guys are going to have to well, stay. Not that. Not you, that yeah. one. But just saying, uh, oh, yeah, and this is. You guys, we, had, we yes. had one. It's called a setup, and then yeah. it's called a punch. You yeah. guys, oh, look at this guy. He's a, he's a comedian. Oh, yeah, over here. Look, look at the guy. comedian over here. <laughs> you guys need to stay in your lanes. Yeah, oh, stay in your okay. lane, bro. Inside joke. <laughs> okay. Where are we starting off with? Um, I don't know. I can't even promos. See. You know what? That was a bad idea. Um, all right. So, what do you mean? Oh, yes. So we. Yes. Oh, we'll, what do you mean? Yes. We're gonna start with the crazy yes. news of 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 our list of things to mm-hmm. talk about today. He's overrated and slow and stupid. Zeke isn't that great either. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, Marky Mark. Yeah, sorry. So, um, starting off with our first segment of, the, of our fun. If you go back into our library, we did an expose of someone local that just had um, some inappropriate behavior. Yes. With a massage. Our, with yeah, local with massage. massage. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It was with the local massage. As in um a local here, realtor here in the Chandler, yeah, a local realtor, a local massage therapist that was out there. It was very inappropriate. Uh, the realtor was inappropriate with the massage therapist, Matthew Coates. And, you know who he rolled out. Yeah, I'm a, I don't care. He was it was public. It's, yeah, you can oh, yeah. look it up. So yeah. uh, we had a few segments, updated news going constantly. So we got a new one here yeah, locally new, to us. A new local, uh, a fan. professional yeah. nude. Cuddle therapist. Wait a minute, which she's is nude? something Does new. Say nude. Nude. Yeah, she is a nude cuddleist. All right, so yeah. There's so a little. There is, I guess this is something no, that's new, right? This is, there's a little backstory to this. Okay, so she's a regular therapist, but uh, she became uh, when she got certified as a therapist. She started off just doing a cuddle therapy, right? Mm. Well, she had patients ask her. Uh, for therapeutical reasons, if they could, if she could be nude with them and cuddle, oh wow, so okay. you'd be cuddling with your partner, right? Um, so she started to oblige these requests. Okay, mm-hmm. so she was a okay. regular therapist, right? That turned into a cuddle therapist, mm-hmm. and 
Um, she would charge eighty dollars for cuddle sessions. I wonder how long they went. Yeah. Think it's thirty minutes. How That's long do you think a cuddle question. sessions takes? That's thirty eighty bucks for thirty last, minutes. My bad. last one was like only like twenty five minutes. Yeah, what was his name? <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, cuddle sessions, a stress Ramon, relieving Ramon. <laughs> therapy, which it, has like a boomed new, recently. This is like a whole new um, world. Yeah, it's like a fad. It's like yoga it's when like yoga wasn't big. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because I have seen. When yoga started. I, I've seen on TV, and I don't know where it was. Hold on, hold on. Okay. $80 for four hours. Oh, my God. That's horrible pay. $20 yeah, an hour? Shit, it's Man, it's good money. I no. guess. Good, but not worth. Four no. hours of cuddling. No, she could do that from uh, Uber. Yeah, I would think eighty bucks. Your wife cuddles you for free. That's what I'm saying. But she, <laughs> uh, or oh, does she? Because uh-huh. that's why you have to go get the cuddle therapy. Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't get that, then you need it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying she's being like, that's cheap. <laughs> Woodward so that's, had eighty dollars for four. That's hours. That's what I mean. That's what, that's not a good deal for her. Yeah. That's a good deal yeah. for the cuddler. The cuddler. So yeah. Woodward, not the Woodward had four sessions with a client who expressed a desire for nudity. <laughs> so the therapist would know. help her with sexual trauma. So I'm sure this person like had some misconduct. And it was a lady too, huh? Yeah. It was a yeah. it was so, so she got busted with the lady. Yeah, that's she's dumb. Well, uh, obviously a guy wasn't gonna report her. So when no, well, obviously they did. <laughs> they, they filed a complaint with the board. A woman did. A woman did. I told her it was always my dream to be held naked by a woman. Is what the complaint said. <laughs> uh, Woodward said she would do. She would do so, uh, but the complainant allegedly uh, asked her to keep quiet about this transaction, this interaction. I just don't get it. I mean, go ahead. Finish it up, but yeah. On their fourth session, the woman got undressed. Oh, four. Yeah. Allegedly invited the client to rest her head on her breasts. She then told her to suck her nipple. Oh. The woman told uh okay, and then the therapist told her, I am channeling nurturing energy to you through my breasts. Well, here's the thing. Good. Break it down for us. Okay. No matter what, you're cuddling a nude person. Yeah. Okay. And you want to male com- or female? Doesn't yeah, matter. male or female doesn't matter. You're putting yourself you, in an awkward situation. Yes. Yeah. And you want to complain about having a tear in your mouth? You it's know true. what I'm saying? That's true. I mean, you're cuddling a naked person, and you're paying for this, and you want to complain about it? It's one. Thing, I don't care if it's a guy it, or a girl. I mean, that's not the. You know, not, here's the thing. It's here's not professional, thing. Albert. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> the whole thing it's, is not professional. <laughs> clearly, it's not. Here's yeah. the thing, though. Um, it's one thing if, like, it accidentally happens, right? Like, you're moving around, you're turning over, and all of a sudden a titty lands in your mouth. Like, it's, it's, it's one, I don't see where that scenario ever happens, but if that happens. Could happen. It could. Yeah. Um, that's one thing. And then you're just like, oh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. But they claim that the client who initiated the mouth-to-breast con- contact in its entire entirely consensual no see that, that, that's not even an issue either dude no because they're naked yeah so, so, it, so they, con- are they both naked? consensual so, so, that's yeah, consensual they're both right they're there. both naked yeah yep. so the, the thing is if if they were both dressed and she took it out and mm-hmm. tried to put it in her mouth then even then i would still be like okay well that that, that was messed up but they're both naked this lady is paying for be to be cuddled. She's her dream was to be cuddled by a naked person. This almost seems like you're paying for prostitution, by, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, to, to be cuddled by a naked. It woman. almost was there. So it's, it's like, getting there, but someone and you want to blew the whistle. Complain about it is like, oh. it's just like you're willing to go to that extreme of getting paying a naked woman to cuddle you naked, and then you want to complain about getting a nipple in your mouth. It's yeah. like, why are you in that situation in the first place? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's like that's it's just ridiculous. If if you're gonna be willing to do all that, then you can't go and say, oh yeah, well she put her, her nipple in my mouth. Come on, you know what I'm saying? No, it's it's, no, uh, no, I, it's she's it's dumb. she's trying to she's experimenting in her therapy, right? Yeah, it's just and it's then dumb. you're complaining. It's dumb. What I like about this whole thing is that either this was the straw that broke the camel's back in like started this therapist in trying to do 
experimental things that may not seem legit. But I don't think she was, she's the first. You know, one. that's no, that's before. that's a thing. That's a thing. They have they have well, sex no, therapists. So they have something like that. So. This this therapist, ha- yeah, they have sex therapists that mm-hmm. actually that, that's what they do. Mm-hmm. And, and, the, and, all they do. There was yeah. a there was um. They even teach you etiquette on how to like cuddle so you're not like putting your boner. in There, there. was a, there was a lady huh. that would hire guys to just hug her because yeah. her, her, her you saw that yeah. because her husband or boyfriend whatever was in. In the military, and he was out overseas, and she just missed that. So uh, she would hire a guy to just come over here. Dude, if I was a husband overseas, I'd be oh, so pissed. Oh my god, I would. I would be so pissed. Yeah, I'd be mean, like, go get a dog or something <laughs> to cuddle on. What the fuck are you doing with another guy cuddling? For real, that's you know pretty what I'm messed saying? up. Yeah, fuck that. Yep. Why? So you're not so, into so, open yeah. relationships. Yeah. So first okay. off, who would do it? <laughs> would you guys do it? Would you go pay for a cuddle? Session eighty bucks for four hours. No, I'm curious. First off, I don't have I fucking four hours, <laughs> yeah, I I, just, and I don't even want to cuddle, cuddle in real life for four hours. So why would I pay for it? I yeah, know. First yeah. off, I'm paying for it for something I don't want to do for four hours, <laughs> right? So I think I'm out. No, I'm out too. I would not. But the time, idea, time is the biggest cost here. Yeah, yeah. The time four hours, eighty, 80 dollars is is almost nothing. Yeah, yeah. but and four apparently. hours. There's yeah. like is, that lady that went and paid her. She should be getting sued. <laughs> For being an idiot that's yeah. stupid that's just like dumb it's like you're, you're all right let's let's build a scenario though right yeah you walk right. in the room it's all the candles are lit yep. <laughs> keep going they have senses all over the place senses, right? yeah. yep. um there's you, glitter and you sprinkles went, everywhere. you went and sought this out right you went to get therapeutic cuddling session right yep and you did it you know it's new similar situation and she turns around and and basically puts your head in her breast to do that and here's the mm-hmm. thing dude what do you do and here's the thing for a, it ended as up, us right as dudes not, she, not, she, we're, she, not, we're, like, we're not that yeah, chick but she, she, she's, she comes to you and says so this all happens she says i'm channeling my breast energy to you ended up in food. in woman's mouth for five minutes in five wow, minutes it's like time. really yeah but it's After, not like she sucked on it but no, but so, here's the thing what i'm saying there? is like the first Two That's seconds. Weird too. No, no. Like, here's the thing. Gonna... The first two seconds, you would have been like, "What the hell?" Yeah. But wait, five, five minutes. It's like so you know the chick was down. Oh, you yeah. know what? You know what? You know what happened? She was like, "Okay, well, let's try this therapy. I'll ha- see if it oh, works." It didn't and it work didn't, out. It didn't I'm gonna work. sue you. <laughs> I was gonna file a complaint. I was yeah, thinking yeah, the so. I was thinking the other way. There was really too much energy, and she was like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> it freaked her out to where like I'm I have to do it big time. I have to get a complaint out because. That shocked the shit out of me, <laughs> and this wasn't right. Yeah. No, what, just, what if? What if she was uh, like she just the lactated? Lactose? Just, yeah, lactated. She's, lactating. Yeah. She's like squeezing oh, like, milk. It's too much. Your, too much. Yeah, that'd be weird mouth. too. Not on wow. the face. Not on the face. No. no. <laughs> yeah. No. That's that's wow. crazy. Not in my hair. Stop it. Stop. Quit. Quit. This is so, cuddle only. Cuddle we can't only. even take it seriously. Like it's not because, serious because the whole idea was crazy. It is. It's crazy. She, she sat with a tent in her it, mouth for five, five minutes, minutes, and then you want to. Sit but Albert's right. right. I mean, two seconds. If it's you aren't comfortable in two seconds, right? say what the fuck. But I wonder who said the five minutes. Was it? Was it the the yeah the cuddleist? The, cu- yeah, cuddleist that said it was cuddler. or the cuddler because the cuddler said it was. You know, two seconds. Yeah. Then yeah. she's probably right. But yeah. if it was five minutes, she's saying that. Then, oh yeah, she's been there for a long time. Yeah, Why she, she was. So with me? She was on it. You know, yeah. give her five more minutes. The energy would have been there. You're there. You're trying to. You're paying to be naked with a woman, uh, as another woman. So and I wonder if she does. I wonder if she does guy clients too. Good question. I don't know. Or if it's just chicks that she calls I'll, with. I'll call her this weekend. Like, yeah, know. see what happens. <laughs> Let us know. So it's just, it's, knows, it's just not that bad. There'll be a follow up episode to find I think out what happens see, tomorrow. Thing, man. You can now you you can sue for anything, man. Yeah. Why but do I, we got to be inappropriate about things though? Like I don't like I, I get it with the whole Coates thing. Like he was being the pervert. What if she was truly trying to help this lady out and like? It, yeah, like it got okay, to okay, the what, point what about where, that? like, yeah. hey, it's what about if she was still? What if she was well, no, like, like the therapist was all like, I'm trying everything I I can think of to mm. to calm you down or make it's like, what about this chick was like crying because, uncontrollably, right? Because like, what if that was, happened? She she was the I mean, one I don't that. Know if that'd be my first reaction for that? Yeah, with the cold situation, he's paying, but 
He's not obviously he wasn't paying for that because you, obviously you, she didn't. Was that, it, she wasn't you, having he it. He was the inappro- he was the pervert in that yeah. situation. So. And in this situation, you can say she's the one that's paying for that. Question. And then wants to be the the how do you say it? the Como se dice? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Papa Fritas go McDonald's. Yeah, like that. See, don't take my <laughs> shit. That's my only line. No, she's paying for it, and then she wants to be the victim. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying. What I'm wondering is, it in their handbook to do that? Like, do you think that's like rule nine? No, dude, like, if it's not working, is, steps one through eight. That's this com- is that's, the Mars no, no, territory. No, dude, that, that's uh, that's this probably like not. combo number seven or eight. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a seven and eight tonight. <laughs> the menu. Look at the seven. Oh shit! No, can, I, can, I, can, I, can I get a seven? Can I get two sevens? Yeah. Two sevens. <laughs> Would you know how double like, energy? You know how Burger <laughs> King nips. has like all their whoppers and shit. You keep bringing up Burger King, so I'm gonna who is use an analogy. Who, 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 yeah, you're you, thinking you, of Burger King. You're hungry. I take McDonald's. <laughs> no, whatever. Gross. But yeah, with your big. <laughs> they both suck. I'll yeah. make a Burger King analogy, anyways. So, therapy. Regular therapy is Burger King with Big Macs, right? This therapy is Burger King with tacos. It's true. This is true. Uh, in and out. Yep. Because uh, you know what the you got to pay an extra eighty for that. Well, you know what the, you know what the pro, what what this really is is the lady that paid for it. Is she's obviously thinking out the box. She probably eats ass or like and she's probably very inappropriate to what her. You mean the client or yeah. the. Yeah. The person who filed the complaint. Yeah. Yeah. So you think she's a disturbed person? Yes. Yeah, so possibly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, she's if you're there. there. She is. Yeah. She's the one suing. She's the one that paid for See, it. And, and she's, she's the one suing. Up. And, and she's the victim? A, no. And, and that's the no. thing, too. So I mean, you're, you're going to with... You're going to be out here eating ass, but you're not going to go and eat Burger King tacos? <laughs> you took a big <laughs> leap. Yeah. <laughs> big, obviously. Huge leap. To the ticket from from needing to be cuddled to then. To eat ass. I don't a, know. A yeah. cereal, the client's probably out there in a dungeon eater. getting her groove on, and then she's she feels subjected to because she was cuddling someone naked. She paid to cuddle. Yeah, I don't know. strange. Yes, very strange. Very strange. Oh, sorry. Sorry, I'm just trying to fix Every it. Every fucking episode, we gotta sorry. fuck with the mics. What's, yes, we Scott. Need to, we need to file that down. <laughs> All right, right there, on right to there. the next. Let's go on to the next. Okay, we're gonna file it down. Enough of the cuddle list Okay, so make sure you go check out the. <laughs> yeah, it's in Tempe. It's a uh, <laughs> local people. Check out the. Uh, it's in your uh, Phoenix. Uh, <laughs> what are they called? Uh, <laughs> magazine. It's in Tempe. It is in Tempe. So check them out if you guys need to cuddle. It's <laughs> at a. Damn, I hope it's still open. Um. What, what what you have it on your? Oh, you know how it's called, it's called uh, Woodward <laughs> Health Spa, I believe. Are you serious? Yeah. No way. Yeah. No way. Yes. My I'm not making it up. Okay. I didn't hear anyway, this. Okay. Now I really enough. have to go because he's let's like enough. Move, move on. Fuck to, fuck to, on. <laughs> yeah, we'll do this next. Time. Well, I mean, we've talked about it enough. All right. Next. So what's the new news about Matthew Coates then? I don't know. Obviously, I don't know. I'm just kidding. I thought it'd be. It's not funny. Fuck it. (laughs) No, not at all. All right. Next on our new or our dirty news. Oh, dirty news. Mexican judge approved recreational cocaine use in historic ruling. Oh, so a Mexican judge has granted two people the right to possess, transport, and use cocaine. Not so recreationally in what's being praised as a historic first step towards ending the country's war on drugs. How does that go? From Since that? when does Mexico have the war on it's drugs? Like, never. <laughs> <laughs> they have. They have. No. A, they have a playground of drugs. Mexico brings it in. Yes, don't we they? have. Right? We have, they don't. I mean, it's no. Yeah, it Colombia, right? Way. It's yep. over there. We have. Spent years working for a more secure, just, and peaceful Mexico, said Luis Lisa Sanchez, director of the Mexico United Against Crime Group, in a press release Tuesday. This case is about insisting on the need to stop criminalizing drug users so. and designing better public policies that explore all the available options, she added. Well, it's so kind of like... This, go, ahead. go ahead. No, go ahead. No, well, I was going to say this is kind of like the heroin epidemic. Now they're they're making a safe place for for people to do cocaine. Where's it? Where's it at? It's, well, it was in New York, <laughs> but 
<laughs> Where, where's the rehab? Where's that center? My, where's that center at? My thing is, how much did these guys get caught with? Was it just a little bit amount that these guys Good got like a like a free little pass, like a get out of jail free card, or because I mean, like if mm. it was it a lot? Or I I'll mean, be honest, I think it is more like a. If you don't rule this judge, you're gonna die. So, oh, you think it was like a like a mafia oh, kind of yeah. thing? Like, hey, man, these guys oh, are cool. Of course. It's called a she's cartel. Gonna be, she's going to be they in trouble. They don't do mafias in, in Mexico. In the yeah. Mexican, they're, they're cartels. But was this, in, this wasn't in Mexico, though. He said it. I didn't. Okay, guys. It was in Mexico. Yes, in Mexico. Really? Yeah. yeah. Uh, this is Amigo News, man. Well, a panel of judges has news. been assigned to review the ruling and decide whether it should be carried oh, out. Oh, that's why. Because it came from the New York Post. He, here's the thing. That's where I got that. Oh, okay. So that's where I was like, wait a minute. It's in New York. But clearly they have a, a, they're trying to tell like they have a war on drugs or whatever, right? Who? Cocaine is, comes comes from a plant. Under the new ruling commission, officials will be required to authorize the two petitioners use of cocaine, allowing them to snort, smoke, or shoot, shoot it recreationally, but not sell it. Yeah. So these guys are just crazy. Druggies, you know, so they, 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 they might not be. Cartels. I didn't think. First off, just, I have a question, yeah. Albert. You can answer this. In Mexico, I think it's all connected. I didn't yeah. know mm-hmm. that you can get in trouble for that type of shit there. Yeah. I didn't think you can get in trouble for anything, really. I mean, dude, not know, to not to sound like no, no. But do know, I sound like a Mexico, dumb American? You, it, like, it's just like you, know, you can't have the guns. same thing. No, same, like, stupid guns. Shit. You can't have guns. You can't have guns at all. No. Oh, so they have better gun laws, sort of here. You <laughs> yeah, know what I mean? Like, right. you can oh, yeah, have yeah, more yeah. guns, right? Yeah, but like, it's not like here that you can carry. Yeah, there you can't. No, but the well, cartel can. The military. <laughs> In the military, to. you're right. There's a post there. <laughs> I just, I mean, I just think it's so Dude, it's corrupt. Not, it's not the wild, wild west out there. It's it, 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 yeah. The see, there's the sheep, right? <laughs> They're making you think it is, but like they, they're civilized down there. They have a civilization. They have <laughs> big, <laughs> big towns where have, like people live. They and have congregate. water and food. Yeah, but you don't want to drink it. But that's like <laughs> any place, though. If you go from here to New York and you drink the water in New York, there's shit in their water that's different than mm-hmm. ours. It's gross. I don't want shit up in any your water. stomach. Yeah, drink bottled water. It's we, or what filtered? No, I was gonna. Say. Muscle, muscle H2O. Water. Yeah. yeah, muscle water. I was going to say the other water, but we can't right Yeah, now. drink muscle H2O. Sure. Yeah. It's going to make you sick either way. <laughs> can't say that. <laughs> Mark well, doesn't. I mean, if you get really drunk on it, you could throw up. That's true. That is very true. That's, it's going to take a lot because when you had some, you oh, felt very dude, hydrated. I drink, yeah, I drank muscle water throughout the whole draft. You know, like I left sober. And he was doing I math, think I was more uh, sober leaving you, you were than doing, I was. You were doing math when you left. Yeah, I think I was. That's crazy. Mm-hmm. That's why he didn't draft four kickers, but we'll talk about that later. <laughs> yep. All right. So, okay. So, drug talks, Mexico. Do you guys think that's a smart move or not? I think it's a good step to non legalization. Like, I think it's going to happen. Co- that's Mexico, co- though. Co- that's Mexico, though. All, uh, all countries. here. All that countries. Was here. Yeah, all countries need to get on board with this. It's like, not like just, Amsterdam, in a sense. Amsterdam, 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 yeah, is is kind of the the milestone. They they basically I think they legalized pretty much anything. Oh, they thought right, Amsterdam? yeah, yeah, drug wise. I mean, you could do whatever you want, and they help you try to get off of it. They yeah. put you in halfway houses and mm. supply it for you, or help you wing off it. Oh, really? So I mean, that's that's kind of where I think it should be, sort of. But I, I imagine there's going to be so those, they, you have the gonna freedom to do all the drugs. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be people. It. Yeah, it's going to be too many. There's like, like oh, enough yeah. houses. Help me get out of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That'll just lead to Darwin's law, though. So it's that's yeah, true too. It's, it fixes itself. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, true. Yeah. I like I like the oh, idea. Yeah, yeah. I like the idea of make everything recreational. Right. Take the taxes from that and make it towards substance abuse programs, so the people that take it overboard. Have an avenue it, to help. It, it pays for itself. I agree. Yeah. yeah. You know, I've, I've heard I've heard the funniest phrase before, which is the more is a, a drinking, um, I don't know, analogy. Okay. The more you drink. Yep. The, the more, more you think. Yes. Close. <laughs> close. But the more you drink. The more you know. You know, how you, <laughs> that too. You lose, you know, you lose those brain cells, right? Okay. But when you drink more. You just lose those brain cells 
like that you don't need anymore. So you're just getting smarter. Smarter. <laughs> nice. Bring me another drink, yes. bro. Yes. Yeah, I got you. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to. You're not going to jump on board with that? <laughs> yeah. No, I'm not on board with I'm that. I'm not falling for that. <laughs> no. As he takes a sip of his drink. People do some <laughs> stupid shit drunk. People uh, do yeah. stupid shit on weed. Uh, on dr- on drugs. People do yeah, stupid drugs. shit sober. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, we started a podcast sober. You know what's funny? You know what's funny is stupid they probably they probably seem sober or not or normal. Mm. Yeah. But I'm sure they're on some kind of medication yeah. or some shit. Because everybody, you know, you think about people on the road. Mm-hmm. Most of those people are either on something Hell or yeah. on a medication. So it makes it very crazy to actually think about how much time you're on the road and yeah. who's actually legitly so driving, over. driving okay, yeah. or texting and shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Texting, driving—that's worse that's than bad. fucking yeah, they, having a drink yeah. and driving. Yep. Uh, so we like entertainment around here, right? Do we? Yeah, yeah I mean, we watch okay, movies yeah, and yeah, shit, we do. right? No, we yeah. don't. I mean, speaking we, speaking of that, we need to circle back eventually to that fucking movie that I wrote notes on. <laughs> Just so you know, the, oh, the Royal, Royal Tenenbaums. Tenenbaums. Maybe we can talk about that on oh, Sunday. Yeah, oh, Royal Tenenbaums. Without, without Albert. Albert City oh, might be here. Yeah, he's, yeah. Dude. Uh, yeah, he keeps <laughs> he keeps checking you out. He keeps know, saying, like, not checking you out in a sexy guy. way. <laughs> not checking you out in a sexy <laughs> way. Punk ass motherfucker. Hey, we're, Hey, we're doing another. Oh, hey, we're doing another non-Albert show. Yeah, show no shit. I'll well, be here I early. Had, I already have Bobby Johnson confirmed fuck and you. everything, dude. It's just yeah. He it, shows up. It's when you're inconvenient not here. for you to show up. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. This guy, are you serious? Dude? Of course he is. You're fired, bro. Fired. We're voting you out. We're having a, a next. Uh, yeah. Oh I'm yeah, board meeting. Board meeting. Yeah, next board, board meeting. meeting. He's out. This guy's out. All right. So the so according the, to entertainment. Right, big oh, news. Which one are we doing? Yeah, we're doing Thor. Thor. Oh, Thor first. Chris oh, Hemsworth shit. to play Hulk. I like this pick. What do you I mean? Don't, I don't know why I like this pick, but I think this he's going to do a good Hulk Hogan. Hulk Hogan, yeah. dude. That... I don't like the fact that they're doing a biopic with him alive, though. I don't. You, I... you don't. You're not. You're not. You're not. You mean he wishes he very, should be dead? Yeah. You, you you said the same thing about the Molly Crew biopic. Yeah, I didn't like that. that you don't like it because I they're still it. alive. I, I liked it. it. I, liked, I, liked, it. I liked it. I thought it was better than the Queen movie, but that was a good. I, that was really the, like, I still have yet to see the Queen movie. I liked the Queen movie. I liked. It a I liked lot. them both, but I thought I like. I liked. I liked the uh, the the other the one. Molly Crew one. Yeah, I thought that one had more had more fun to it. It was funnier, and it seemed like it was more. What was their life? Yeah, I sure. know. It seems. I just. Think, I mean, it was pretty. There I was just, some shitty yeah, parts. I don't know. I just think that. Yeah, it, it, would, it was, but it was still yeah, a good movie. Still good. Good biopic, whatever. I think it would hit home more if one of them were had passed. Not home, to like put home that sweet against home? them. Yeah, you know that guy that that played uh, Tommy Lee, jo- Tom Tom Lee Jones, Crew. right? Yeah. What was it? Uh, Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. 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 Well, he I died. Didn't, huh? He died. Wait, who right? did? Machine Gun Kelly? No, he's no, still alive. The other one. What's the other white rapper that died? Mac Miller. Mac, Mac Miller. That's, that's, yeah. that's yeah. Albert's buddy. Yeah, they both are. But I didn't, yeah, I didn't, white, even, I didn't even realize it was uh, Machine Gun Kelly until like after I saw them. I was like, oh shit, that's Machine Gun Kelly. He's, you know, he, he's, He's starting to come out in a lot of movies too now. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Well, he was in he's Bird Box actually, too. He, he, yeah, yeah, you're yeah. right. He's gonna be a pretty girl, good, a pretty boy, good actor. Girl, girl, boy. <laughs> How many times do you think that they're yeah. gonna say brother in this movie? Oh, at least. Oh my God, that'd be oh, a good drinking game. You know, That's a drinking game right yeah. there. How many times they say brother? So here's That's right there. One. This we, just, it, we just said it first. Oh, how many times, how we many fucking said it first. Gonna say, oh yeah. Oh no, that's a Macho Man. Yeah, that's a match. Oh, he'll be in there. Probably, <laughs> yeah, he will, but, there'll be six of those. So there'll probably be a couple of those in there. <laughs> there'll be six of those. Oh yeah. Listen here, brother. And there'll be like Listen, forty. Brother. Four no. Uh, I say. How many times say, does he say the N word? That's towards the end when he gets in trouble. Really? Oh, oh, did you shit. not know that part of the story? No, yeah, didn't. that's later in his life. <laughs> really? That's probably kind of still going on a little bit. Shit. Yeah. That's when he hung out with Troy. <laughs> not... How long ago was that? Oh, that's like had... five or six years ago. Yeah. Oh, really? I didn't, yeah. I didn't yeah, even know Yeah, it was a big that. Florida case on uh, him saying defamation things. And, really? You know, a video yeah. of himself Just doing like things. Just like Kramer? Yeah, no, he no. didn't go as bad as Kramer. Kramer. He didn't go as bad as Kramer. No. Well, Kramer was on stage doing yeah. it in front of an audience. Stand-up. Yeah. No. It, this was a little... The so, Hulk had to go to court. Yeah. He was, <laughs> so who wasn't bad? 
Kramer or the other guy or Hulk? Hulk Hogan was not as bad as Kramer. I didn't. Really? Hear, I haven't heard. Okay. I haven't heard what Hulk said, but I, I know the story. Listen here, brother. <laughs> I'm just curious. We should write down our guesses now. How many times does he say "brother"? Okay, that's a good one. I'm gonna. No, I like. I like the idea. I like the idea of while we're watching it, we have it a drinking. Yeah, game, I know. Drinking but game. what I mean is, let's guess how many times. You, how many times do you think he says it? Just a weird fucking guess. How many jelly beans are in the fucking jar? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, say Martin. in the movie he yeah. says "brother" at least forty-five times. Forty-five, Albert. What's your guess? I'm it's gonna, probably gonna be okay. an hour. It's gonna be an hour in forty-two minutes. So, what do you think? <laughs> I'm gonna Dude, say what the fuck? Uh, time for the kids to go to bed. Oh. <laughs> uh, go to bed, kids. I only say forty-five. I don't know if he's gonna say it that many times. Say one dollar. <laughs> Price is right rules. Yeah. One dollar. I'm gonna say maybe thirty. 30. We should do, okay, no price, price is right rules, no going over. You go over, you lose. Okay. I'll say Scott, and I'll say $1. <laughs> no, oh, no I'm not going to do that. I'm going to say. You know what? It, go ahead. What was your number? Oh, are you going to ruin it? No. Um, I'll say, I'll say 37 times. 37 times. All right, brother. This biopic is will not dive into the years or attempt to encompass Hogan's whole life. Really? Uh, well, there's still going to so be the brother aspect. So instead, brother, sources say that it will focus on his rise and describe uh, his origin story as the Hulkster and Hulkamania. Well, he so, did he did the uh, brother yeah. thing in Hulkamania. Yeah, he did yeah. it from way the beginning. Yeah. yeah. Listen so here, brother. I, I think our numbers are pretty... Pretty good. Yeah, then. I, think uh, that, I don't yeah. think there's going to be too. I mean, I think you might be a little. So he's high, definitely not going to say the N word because it's going to be no. Like, that's the, the, the end. Part the of beginning of yeah. WrestleMania. Yeah. I mean, uh, the first couple of WrestleMania. Yeah, so, yeah, exactly. That's when I used to watch them too. It should be good. I can't wait. It, and it says it's going to be a Netflix thing. I believe. So they're going to be the Iron Cheek. Was that right? Be on there. Yeah, Ch- the Jimmy Cheek. Fly yeah. Snuka. All those. Huh? Fucking. Um, yeah, uh, your boy. The million dollar man. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's that's when I used to watch uh, wrestling. Bradley yeah. Cooper is producing it. Really? So it says. Well, yeah, he's got a bunch of fucking money, of course. Of course, yeah. yeah. Star is born. Oh, yeah, yeah, that was that, that he, money. He made a lot of money now. Yeah, he did. Yeah. He and he got, he and he got a pregnant. Shit. Who? Uh, what's your name? The singer. The Gaga. Yeah. He got the Gaga pregnant. Yeah. No, he Gaga. didn't. Yeah, he did. Who did? did Bradley Cooper. Together? Oh no, shit. Are they now? I don't think they're together anymore. What do you mean they broke up? They were that was a movie. Albert, they no, were together in real life. They were together now. After yeah, after the movie, she was with somebody already. After the, uh, before Ooh. the movie, no, here's, she here's, wasn't. So it's going to be the beginning of the. Who cares about ba- lady dumb Giga. shit? Yeah, Giga. yeah. Who do you think plays Andre the Giant? They haven't cast it yet. I don't um, think. Oh, shot, Shogun, it? Shotgun, uh, the big ass, oh, the, the giant. Big show. Big show. You think he's? Oh. You think another? Well, yeah, I guess another. He's a big room. ass fucking dude. He is. <laughs> big he show. Like look like Andre the Giant. He's probably lost weight now. He's probably looking yeah. like a normal human now. Because he figures he can't be. Who's that motivational speaker? That's super oh, fucking I, huge. Uh, uh, T- uh, Robbins. 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 Yeah. Tony Robbins. He looks like Tony Robbins now. Does he skinny we're, and just we're skinny? Man and, shoe, yeah, we're too. skinny and tall and <laughs> just not big. Or what's who, that? What's that? Who one would dude? you like to see as like? A, I think it's gonna be a whole uh, uh, like a new actor. Who do you think is gonna be Macho Man? Ooh. Oh, Bradley but were Cooper. they really it's friends? Bradley though? Cooper. Who? Yeah, they, they were. were. They, they weren't were. really friends. Well, they kind of were, but they I were. heard I heard they weren't though. Like I heard mixed things. I heard they were, but then I heard Hulk did some shit with. Macho Man's wife, too, What's which that? he apparently did a lot of things What's with a lot name? of people's wives. Uh, yeah. What yeah, was he her did. name? Elizabeth or? Yeah. Uh, I don't oh, know. Sure, Elizabeth yeah. Shue? No. I don't know. Hulk, Hulk Hogan, Hogan, Hogan biopic. Is what You're looking at IMDb? Yep, the only person anything. that's signed on so far is just Chris Helmsworth. Of course. Sucks. You know why? Yeah, I know? No, he didn't. That's the only person that's signed on. Oh, really? Directed by Todd Phillips. Yeah, who's the same guy with uh, who's doing the Joker movie. Oh, which, that's right. Which looks pretty... Actually, you know what? I, I do remember. I remember we to, talked about that. Yeah, I listened to um, Steve Austin's, Stone Cold Steve Austin's podcast. He has one? Uh, yeah, he had Hulk Hogan on there recently where they were just shooting the shit. And he what he made it? mention of it. He wouldn't do this biopic. 
unless that that Todd guy was on board to do it. Weird. Like Hulk Hogan said that. Weird. Yeah. So. So maybe he knows something that he's pretty on fire kind of guy. Maybe Hulk Hogan that, knows that, how to sell though. Like, he, that, dude. Yeah, his whole brand. I mean, yeah. he, he literally. Oh, I heard something actually recently. I don't know the exact details, but I heard that with him using the name Hulk Hogan. Yeah. He had to act. They had to actually pay Marvel a certain amount of money each time the Hulk name was used because the Hulk. Oh, the Hulk. Yeah, the Incredible Hulk. That's Apparently, stupid. yeah, yeah. So because that's the, the infringement. Yeah, they, I don't think so. that's no that's, way. That was I heard that. I could look it up, but let's. You know, everyone else looked that up. Can you think about the type of money that Hulk Hogan has amassed over the, the I would, decades I would imagine of work he, he's done? I would imagine he probably made more than the Incredible Hulk. You know what I mean? Not as the real person. Lou Ferrigno? Yeah, no, not him. I meant like the Hulk, the Incredible Hulk, the brand. Yeah. But I don't know with the Avengers stuff. I feel like who knows? Hulk Hogan's probably made so much fucking like hundreds of millions of dollars over the time I've been to his. I've been to his restaurant. What? In Florida. Really? Have you? Yeah. Oh yeah, because you went to Tampa for mm-hmm. that thing. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. Been there. How was Tampa? <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> it is. It is the number one capital of strip clubs. Nice. Yeah, I heard that. Did you see a Florida man? I didn't. No. <laughs> Tons of them. <laughs> yeah, I saw Tons of Florida men. <laughs> Tons of Florida men. Well, I didn't know that. That was the number one capital. I don't know if it still is, but I heard that. I heard that when I was. And literally, our hotel room was across from a strip club too. Really? So, yeah. Oh, uh, no wonder Scott can't buy a mic. He's still paying still for paying fucking, for, <laughs> for, still, for somebody still, college. Still. Jasmine to <laughs> stay. Jasmine's. Jasmine. He's still paying not. for somebody else's college yep. tuition. Purple Peach. <laughs> she was a good dancer, guys. Purple, don't knock her. Purple I don't know why that was her name. <laughs> but it was. <laughs> but the things she can do with a peach, guys. <laughs> Life changing. You know what I don't get? All these people bitching about a dollar tip. Uh, <laughs> that was, yeah, I saw that was good. Yeah. Saw this meme earlier. Good. Yeah. Finish it off. Yeah, Mark. Like, finish steal it. it steal off. it. Steal it, Mark. Yeah, I'm, say I'm go ahead and steal it, bro. Steal it. it. Steal it. I don't have the rest of it. It but was I, you give no, a, dollar, a bartender. You, you give yeah. a bartender a dollar. Yeah. And they bitch about it. Yep. But you give a stripper a dollar, and they'll yeah. show you their butthole. Yeah. <laughs> or other things. Yeah. 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 She'll show you the world. Yeah. <laughs> She'll show you the world. So make I sure like you, how cool you went into stripper. But, bartender would be mad at a dollar tip. Bitch, a stripper will show me her whole asshole for that. <laughs> yeah, Albert completed it. Oh, yeah, there you go. There, was that too. And you all are welcome out there in podcast land. Yeah. <laughs> Which Look is that floating book. out there somewhere. Yeah. Speaking of movies, though, oh, who's excited I'm, about this one? I am super excited. Are about you? Really? I, 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 I'm. I'm not. Okay. You're not? I'll, not? Tell you, I'll tell you why. Right. But go ahead. No. Somebody. No. Somebody was telling me that, I, and I'm trying to remember <laughs> the, the, the third, first one. The <laughs> well, you've already seen it because you quantum to yeah, go you see. Saw the fourth so one. Was there. It good or not? That's why, so that's why I'm asking this question. <laughs> was the fourth one good or not? Uh, so, that, so people are saying if I, and I'm trying to remember, did he die in the third one? It's a good question, but he's let's tell died everybody. A, he's died a couple let's, times. Yeah, though. let's but, let's tell everybody what we're talking about first before you go into your deep quantum. Realm. We are talking about Matrix Four officially a go with Keanu Reeves, Carrie Ann Moss, and Lana Wachowski. Yeah, yeah. so they're, they're making a Matrix Four, which it's pretty exciting. But for me, I didn't really dig the third one. You I didn't, did it. I didn't really like it. I like the first one a lot, obviously, and the second one was okay, but I thought they were milking on the third, which I'm pretty sure they'll milk it on the They milk made a cartoon it. that you had to also watch if you didn't watch never it. never saw that. You never saw it? So yeah, there, there are certain parts in the cartoon that if you didn't watch that, you wouldn't have gotten some things in the, in the last movie. In the third one? Yep. But I was an adult. I wasn't going to watch cartoons. <laughs> all right. So no, here, here, here's <laughs> says the here. guy that watches every cartoon. <laughs> I watch all the anime. I know. Me too. As long as they're Except new. For it's not tentacles, an- tentacles. Unless, stop unless being it's not too. anime. No. I don't watch anime. I watch hentai. That's what Do I watch. You, I don't, I don't, I don't watch that. I don't, is that a tattoo? Go ahead. <laughs> so towards the end uh, in the Matrix Revolutions, mm-hmm. Neo is jacked by the machines into the Matrix to fight Agent Smith. During the fight, yeah. Smith 
seems to have killed Neo. Then we see the machines pumping a charge into Neo to revive him. Neo, however, doesn't seem to be active inside the Matrix anymore and just explodes into light. Yeah. We then see his physical form be sat down by the machines. Neo at this point actually dead or is he just unconscious? We don't see what it is. I I can visually recall this yeah, entire scene now at this point. I kind of yeah. do. I kind of can too. My thing is I would like to watch all three again. That that's what's going to reboot me. You yeah. know, that's going to make me want to watch all three before I watch the fourth cuz it's been like what 10 15 years yeah. since yep. since the last one. So I'm I'm super digging this, dude. Like Keanu Reeves is going to be that's, in everything. He's like he's in again, which that's, is fucking awesome. That's that's where I was going with the fact that I didn't like the third one. Okay. But but like with with uh, Bill and Ted's coming back. Bro. That's coming back. Oh, that's whatever. Right. That's what, gonna be good. Whatever. But yeah, which works for you because you like the time travel shit. <laughs> um, the other thing is, uh, what, <laughs> what what is the 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 one that he has where he's shooting everybody? Can't think of it. Where he's all over. He's he's the dude that he's killing Point everybody. Break. No. It's a, it's a oh um, John Wick, Wick. John yes Wick. The, the Wick those I love those yeah they're good movies and I haven't seen the last one yet so far I haven't either but I've seen one and two and yeah, me too but they're all pretty good yeah, like it. they're nonstop action and dude the, the plot of the movie is so bad it's enjoyable you <laughs> well, killed my fucking dog and I'm gonna kill everybody else I just love how he just like the first one <laughs> I I just love how he just don't yeah no was dog died again in the I third just, one I just love how everybody <laughs> everybody's like double tapped like yeah boom boom yeah. boom 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 it's he's just like killing boom, everybody's yeah. like just filling rooms and killing people it's gonna be a great action movie dude yeah I think it is and well, now yeah, and now that is. the internet has evolved that much further well not only that that, that one the first one was the the original that brought that brought you know all that uh effects i guess yeah it was the first of its effects yeah. yes exactly they made new visual Hell effects for yeah that for that movie, movie. The first, the first and they were yeah. amazing milestones yeah well i mean that scene is iconic as it can be the whole yeah. dodge and bullet scene is like yeah that's what i'm saying it, yeah. He, but you think we watch it right now we're like it's probably dude, like wait a minute you could see yeah. and, and, no and, wonder i can see those bullets coming <laughs> and as soon as that happened all kinds of movies came out with dodging yeah. bullets and yeah. everything. But yeah, that was a that was a yeah. Movie. I mean, I I, I want to see it, but am I excited? Eh, let me see what the, like the let me watch one two three again, Insane. and then may, maybe build me up to kind of watch it. Yeah. Like just like Bill and Ted, I again. It's I, been so long. Huh? It's been so long. I mean, I'll still see it. And they did. I'm a, I'm a movie they, person, so I'll see it. They did a two. What Bill and Ted? Did they? Yeah. This is the third one. So here, well, here no, I don't know. If here, make, I don't know if this is a remake of the first one or uh, what it is. So but they no, did a Bill and Ted too. This is Matrix Four. This is what they're no, doing. No, no, no. Oh, Bill and Ted. Ted. Oh, Bill and Ted. <laughs> it's not a remake. Yeah. It's a continuation. Because they did one and two. Yeah, no, it's a continuation. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wasn't paying attention. Yeah, yeah right. obviously, dude. So I re- so I was well when I wasn't paying attention. I was reading this. Just from what I understood, the Oracle has identified Agent Smith as an equation trying to balance itself out. Being the opposite of Neo, perhaps Neo had to die in order for him to Agent live. Smith to be destroyed. Oh, so oh, you know, it'd be a good so, way. Uh, he is dead. You know, it'd be a good way. Mm-hmm. The movie starts is they pump him, whatever the fuck's happening there, mm. and he actually like blows up and shit kills. Blows everything, up everything. Everything. It's almost like he then wipes everything out, and then, but he wasn't really dead, or he wasn't really there. So there's more to this, okay? Uh, Although sorry, when it. Smith has taken over the world, multiplied itself into every single program, he has presumably also multiplied itself into every single human being who was jacked into the Matrix. Uh, so everybody has a piece of Neo. Yeah. No, everybody has a piece of Agent Smith. Oh, that sucks. They have to fight everybody. In the last scene where the architect tells the Oracle that the others shall be released means that virus, Uh, all of them being infected. He let them all go. So everybody's infected with Agent Smith on the outside uh, now. Okay. 
So this which, is the plot. Yeah, which yes, was yeah. injected by. Well, no, this is just some fan theory, but it could be the plot. Uh, what know. the fuck? Yeah. You're just, just reading. Listen. So what? No, I don't like fan theories. <laughs> yeah, we have cool. those ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> Because everybody made fake shit. Yeah. <laughs> For real. This whole fucking show is fake. Wait a minute. Our show? <laughs> We're not even real Albert's right now. Albert's not even here right yeah. now. Yeah. No, he's quantum leaping. I no, took we... the blue pill, bro. <laughs> We're just playing Albert on a loop. Yeah. Albert's on a loop. Yeah. I played the, I took the blue pill, bro. He's on one of those boxes that you just we press just a play button. button. He just yeah, plays press Albert's a button voice. And it's a... We could fucking it's do that loop. when you're... It's a loop, We bro. could do that shit when you're in Yuma. Okay. Next time yeah. you're gone, we just... The next time uh-huh. he's going to Yuma, yeah, oh yeah, for sure. No, the next time he's going to Yuma, fuck you guys, we're all going fuck you, together. Scott. <laughs> that's what, that's I don't think that's is. true. <laughs> but we should make up the yeah, just for each of us. Boom, boom, we're not yeah. there. Well, it's typically but we're you. not there. I'm like, it's, it's typically no, you. I don't agree, <laughs> dude. Bro, I don't like that. Be right back. All right, that's cool. I like that. The soundtrack. No, everybody. I haven't seen that. You know what? Fuck you, Mark. <laughs> Fuck off, dude. Fuck you guys. I'm leaving. Oh, bye, Albert. And then we have like a garage door yeah. opener sound. <laughs> you will not let that go. Fuck no, dude. That was one of our best episodes. That was one of our best episodes. Yeah, I wish I, for dinner. Like, I wish I was there. <laughs> you, you started you started the day. Know, yeah, you, you started that you day. You showed up, but then you, you were just gone. You showed nope. up, but you weren't there. <laughs> You showed up and the Uber driver had his way with you. Yeah, I think he did, dude. <laughs> right, I'm he did pretty too. sure he did. All right, guys. So, so Matrix. We, what is so it coming here's out? some good questions. Oh, yeah, do we, do we know what's coming out? It's pre production. Like, they just oh, okay. it's um, green lit. So, so, we don't know. Probably like, what, two years? Yeah, two, three years, maybe. Um, here's a couple questions Do you take the blue pill or do you take the red pill? Okay, remind me. Blue pill is. I think blue pill is matrix. The other yep. one is red. And is red go pill home, is go home back to the go home, be a drone. wake up. This didn't ever happen. That's a tough one, dude. God. Go I'm blue pill. Okay. Scott's fuck going. It, fuck yeah. this world. Yep. I'm going. I'm going to fight. Oh, see, I don't know. That's tough. He, he wants the real reality. I want to learn quantum. What would you do? Quite, oh, that's a quant- good question. Quantum. Because here in this reality. Uh, per se, yeah, you have your Stability. family, you have everything. Honestly, yeah. Neil, Neil was young and he didn't have, it was just him. Yep. So it depends on but when it was. If you learn that this is all just a program and you're part of the system, yeah, but are they really your family? But could you change ah. the, but the thing is, could you change those feelings right now? Eyes open. No, you, yeah. That's what I'm saying. The feel, it doesn't matter whether you know or you don't. Yeah, your feelings for your kids right now are. Luckily for him, I'm taking had, the blue pill. Luckily for him, <laughs> luckily for him, I mean, if, if we got to talk about my my kids. And, <laughs> luckily for him, he had to get the fuck he, away. He had none of that. He had none of that, right? He no, was a single dude. That's, what I'm no. that's why it works single for him. Dude, he was computer single hacker. Dude, computer yeah, hacker, yeah. young. Uh, against the law, whatever you know, he was doing yeah. all kinds of shit. So it was, like for him, he it was worked. working in the system, but he would prefer to be against the system. Yeah, yeah. so for him, right. it worked. That's what I'm saying. For you're asking me this, maybe 20 years, 30 years ago when I was when you were a youngster, thing, yeah, you it would be different. It would be different than what I'd be yeah. thinking right now. So that's true. Right now, great. I don't know. Think mine. It's tough. All right. Let's assume we all took the blue pill, right? Son of a bitch. Who would oh, yeah. be? We're being pulled. We're being pulled out of. And we gotta get out of that. <sighs> yeah. Freaking What's shit. the first program you get to choose to learn? To learn, I think it would be math, <laughs> English. <laughs> <laughs> No, I, I think the first one. Good I, choice. <laughs> good choice. I think the first one would be uh, in computers. Like the, to you use know, one? The, no. Oh. You got to figure out how to use yeah. a computer? No. Yeah, you got to remember, not everybody that came out of the Matrix was computer savvy. Yeah, so, so I would be like two. Were, two like I, really, thought they, I thought they all kind of were. I mean. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he's, so that's how he was selected. Really no, didn't show so. us. No, because yeah. the chick, the guys, well, were, the chick, yeah, but she, she broke, yeah, because she was known for hacking the IRS or some shit prior uh, to she living yeah. that life, right? Yeah. 
Yeah, but still that. now now when you're in the matrix, now they can just plug you in and you can learn everything like that. Yeah. That so would be that's the what I'm thing. asking. Yeah. So yeah. what's what the you first learn? thing you learn? Computers, how computer. to how to do all everything with everything and anything with computers. Okay. Hacking, all that stuff. All because computers. from there you can do anything else. <laughs> He's like Microsoft Word. <laughs> I, just, I, need, I need to learn. I need to. I need the trial edition. Excel. 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 Yeah, there we go. Excel. 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 1997. Excel. <laughs> this is all. This is old. That's what you type in. 1997 Excel. I've had so many problems with this fucking program. I need this. I need to fucking figure this out. Like this, huh? And you guys can like send, me back. Uh, <laughs> send me back. Send me back. Can I have the red pill uh, now? I'll be like this, huh? I figured out. I figured uh, out. DOS. 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 DOS base. What about you, Scott? Oh, first shit. program you will learn. Um, I kind of liked how he did the whole martial art thing, I guess. So you would learn yeah. karate and yeah. shit? Yeah, karate and yeah. shit, yeah. probably. All the fighting moves that, ever. That, that or like languages. I did that, I languages. Did that afterwards. That or languages. I learned computer shit and then do... I like that too. Fly, fly a helicopter, doing that. Learn how to. Yeah, I think think that's good too. I think my first one would be aerodynamics. Yeah, I want to. I want to fly. 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 That's the first thing I want to fucking do. What do you mean, like as you flying or learn? Okay, because I don't know. He he doesn't even learn that in a program. Like that's something he learns being Neo. So that's not. Yeah, you're right. So she did though. Remember they plugged her in into that. uh, And she flew. She was. She jumped. No, remember, remember when, when the first scene where where he dodges the bullet? Yeah, she, they're about to. She learned happen. to fly a helicopter. Yeah, a helicopter. Yeah, yeah, and he like right away. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I know how to fly a helicopter. Yeah, and then she and then fucking the, crashed it. And then he goddamn woman life. drivers. And then he saves her life. Yeah, yeah. Amelia, Amelia, Amelia Earhart. He's the one, bro. That's when they say he's the one. He is. You know what I'm saying. You guys so, need to stop messing with I'm gonna the fix goddamn it. mice. I'm going to fix it. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna shave this off. No, it should be good right there. Yeah, it's right there. Why do you keep moving it? Because I don't like you, bro. What that See, put that on the loop. <laughs> I don't like you. I don't like you, bro. I don't like you, bro. I like you, bro. How about here in spirit? I don't like you, bro. Thanks, Albert. I don't like you, bro. All right. Um, so we picked that. Do you let's, guys- let's just talk about fantasy. Uh, all right. Well, what was the last one? The last no, that was it. That was it, right? Yeah, sort of. There's another one, but we'll skip it. I can't remember what it is. Don't worry. I can't read your handwriting. That's fine. Good fantasy football talk. So we had our draft on Friday. <laughs> How'd you guys think you did? I did okay. <coughs> Bless you. Yeah, I did okay. I think I did okay too. I just got a. I think I did okay, okay too. Right you guys still have the Winston, app, so to read your teams off. Yeah. Winston, oh no! Now, now that that Ezekiel's back, I might get rid. Of, I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of Pollard. Is that uh, who the backup is? Yeah. Yeah, my, my my team my team is solid. Um, uh, yeah, I got an okay squad. I, I don't know. Apparently, I, I Mark showed that I. Oh like, yeah. Did, I what did, were you at? I did the best. Yeah. Oh, you were the on, on this one. I had ninety percent or whatever. Or, yeah. I don't know. Out of the draft. Um, I forgot about that picture. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, hopefully everything pans out. None of my players seem to be hurt yet. We drafted kind of early last Friday. Which right. I am su- super annoyed about, by One, the way. Two, three, Did you guys, like everyone, I sent everyone but the people that don't give a fuck, like Mikey and things, have hit me up. Hey, when are you adding the teams to to Yahoo? Yeah, because they were going to make trades already, dude. Yeah. Fuck all of you. Dude, I'm not. Troy, no. No, Troy, I, want make, I want to make trades already too, bro. Troy lost his tight end today. Yeah. So people are wanting to. Sucks for him. <laughs> Don't give a fuck. Yeah. I'm just saying that there's people that have lost people. Let's not draft two but, weeks before fucking he, football starts. Yeah, why did we? Well, that's not. Scheduling our, conflicts. Oh, okay. I want to look back. I think I deleted it already, but I want to look back and find out did Brandon steer any of our times away? Because if he did, that's fucked up. Like no, if he if he went through, he no? no. Okay, I think it was Mikey. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Because he and probably Alfred, he's, and Alfredo. Because he's, he's got he's got he's got like do. nine drafts. I bet. Both no, he, they do a fucking stupid family camping trip or some not a camping trip. They do a family trip together at, near the end, near like Labor Day or some shit. Mm. Well, because I would love to do a fucking Labor Day weekend, but everybody fucking has plans Labor Day weekend. 
I don't know what weekend that is, but yeah. So we drafted early. It's I the did, weekend I, before I, football starts. Wow. Um, <laughs> I think I did well. Um, I uh, we, had a, we had an accident in the studio. Live in Los Angeles yeah. as an earthquake, earthquake happens. happens. I don't think the walls are shaking. But yeah, we had we had one of our things fall. Um, I don't know what the hell's going on here, bro. But yeah, no, I think we did well. I mean, the other the other news that we had, um, fantasy or football related, because it's that time of year. Hell yeah! Jay Z became a part owner of an NFL football team. Yeah, that's right. Uh, which I, which team? Do yeah, you guys which know? team? No, it hasn't announced the team yet. Really? So he is part owner of a team where he's in. No, he's in talks to become a part owner of oh. a team. Oh, he's and I did not. hear some backlash. Did you guys hear about that too? The controversy of like. Um, Dude, he's a billionaire, man. I, like, I know, him, but I know but whatever the fuck he wants. I to own. agree, I agree. But the one there was a what, Kaepernick's was... Kaepernick's buddy was mad at him. The other guy that was kneeling with him that got some of the money with Kaepernick. Okay, he was mad at the situation. Really? Apparently. Yeah, I saw something about that where he was mad that you know he's not you know why are you doing this? But it's like, come on, you know if Jay Z can come in there and shake things up or make things better for everybody, why not? Exactly, and he's 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 a really smart businessman, or at least he's showing that he's been because all the yeah. things he's done, he's pretty much conquered at. So, meeting of the minds. So why not? According to our rankings, as Scott was talking about earlier, Scott got number one, so he basically got like an A plus for a ranking. ranking. Um, Albert was just above me at number five, so and then I was number six. six. For rankings and how we drafted. Yeah. I mean, obviously, it's some. I so, give it a let, me, let me ask early, you this. So. so, let me ask you this. So obviously, our episode for the draft, which the audio is shit. It, which is good. It got all of, fucked up. A lot yeah, of bad things yeah. said. Not really. I listened to it all. It's not. Not too bad. No, it's not horrible. <laughs> um, How do you. Like, when you were drafting, were you conservative? Did you take risks? Um, what was your objective in your first round versus what you actually picked? No, mine was where I wanted to be. I mean, for me, my my goal, my picks and the way I do it all the time, it's always a running back. Yes, running backs, two, three running backs, and then go to wide receivers. So, and that's what I always do. So, so you you intentionally went for Bell. I don't think that's who you wanted to get though. For because I think shit, I want, our last conversation we I wanted, wanted jo- Johnson. And no, I did not want Johnson. Well, you better go fucking drunk. Listen to our. <laughs> oh no, I wanted um, uh, the guy I had last year. Oh, everybody wants who? fucking Barkley. Barkley, uh, yeah. yeah. I mean, he was first. Saquon Barkley he was gone first, right? Yeah, I know. Yeah. And we all decided that that was going to be he was going to be gone right away, right? So after that, I knew I was like, okay, if I didn't, but you know, it was just running backs, getting running backs. Okay, so and you're then, happy then, with with yeah. Bell? Oh yeah, I think you still, yeah, I think you could have got him in the second round though, dude. I don't know, dude. I don't think so. You don't think so? I don't think so. He's just a jet, you know. I just don't think. So? I don't care. Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. I think, I, think, yeah, I, think, I think you would have been gone. Yeah, hell yeah! I think at least, at too. least, at least, yeah. has a snake back to you. Yeah, it would have yeah. been gone. You think yeah. so? Okay. I, I would have think. I would have thought so. My my, I think my, my draft, first one was McCaffrey. Yeah, yeah. my draft. I, I didn't. Pick. I didn't really want him because mm-hmm. I've never had him, so I don't know. But I've heard good things, and I know he does well. I just, I'm not a big Cam fan, which now apparently uh, Cam who, is who, hurt. Who, so who, yeah. is your goal? who is your goal? I want a Kamara. Kamara. Who got okay. Kamara? But Mikey oh, got him. Mikey got him, and which is fine, but. So I had to go with the next guy, which was McCaffrey, and I took Albert's advice. I went two running backs. You did back to back, like out because normally your homie in the second round. The, yeah, he did man. fucking Gurley, solid work for you, Gurley from last year. Hopefully, That's he stays good. fine. And event, and I did get his backup or one of his backups. Mark got the other one. And I got Hopefully, if he gets hurt, at least I have a backup already yep. in place because I know his knee issues. Hopefully, got, isn't too much Mel- of an issue. I got Melvin Gordon. Who do you get in your second pick? He's holding out. He might to be. You Cautious get McCaff- McCaffrey and Thomas, right? Yep. Yeah. And yeah, my was- my first pick was well, it was between, uh, so I was number ten, so I got the snake. So I'm like, my first pick is my second pick, yeah. type of thing. Like, I wanted to grab Jones right away, but 
I was like, well, I'm going to so grab. Did you, go, did you go wide receiver, wide receiver? Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, because towards receiver, the end, there's not yeah. too many top end. So, yeah, so I was like Hill and then Jones, Tyreek Hill and then and Julio Jones. Those are good picks. Yeah, so I I'm, I was – I was okay with it. Like I'm, I honestly, I wanted to grab Devonte Adams for some reason. Yeah, that'd be good too. I don't know why that, that was, quick, quick. I know. I don't know why that. Like I was eyeing him just because I'm really uncertain with how the Packers are going to be this year. But he's their number one. Yeah. Unless they know, double team him. I know. I know. Yeah. Unless they unless they double team him and then he's going to take away. Who's and Troy got him. Huh? And then yeah. it's going to go to Geronimo yeah, or whoever the other people are at five. Right. That's where he was. Yeah. Do they still have uh, what's his name? The tight end. Uh, yeah, they still have Graham. Yeah, Graham. So mm-hmm. he might be. Rodgers don't use tight ends that much. I know, but think about it. If, if Devontae Adams is a double in the tight end that they they had. In another year with him, yeah. it's mm, only going to be. You know, it gives time to work that magic. Get a groove. Yep. Yeah, I don't see it still. I'm, I'm just you real think, hesitant. You think Jimmy Graham's I'm, past his prime? Being, being a Packer fan, like, obviously I want them to win, but I'm just still, I don't see. I don't think it's just Graham, dude. I think Aaron Rodgers is not Aaron Rodgers anymore. He's um, just he's just there for Aaron Rodgers. He's not there for the team. Yeah, exactly. Possibly. Yeah, it's all selfishness. I think. I think. I don't know. Yeah. It could be anything at this point. Who knows? I gotta get rid of Winston. <laughs> I, fucking, I was just fucking tired. I was like, oh, I towards the end. Pick. Yeah, Come on, you gotta be focused, that was, man. That was your last pick. That was my that, last that's pick. an easy drop. Yeah, like, no. it's not. That's not even. No, no, I know. Oh, I'll take them. I'm, I'm just talking about. I'll take them. I heard good so things. Versus versus the uh, outcome of the computer, right? And then how you did? How do you feel you true. fared? I don't know. No, man. I think I did pretty good. Dude. My thing is, is I've lost every year that uh, the draft doesn't matter. Well, we had this conversation. Dude. I know. Draft doesn't matter. So no, you're, me, you're the me, Jaguars. You're coming up now. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> they still haven't won anything. But, yeah. But, yeah, my team, my team's solid. I mean, hopefully everything's, everyone stays healthy. No DUIs. No uh, assaults. I'm right? Cooper, and Bradley, no one gets hurt. I don't know if Bradley I said that part. Bucks, healthy. Le'Veon um, Bell. Melvin Gordon. Let's so let's give some fantasy advice and then let's kind of kill it out. Yes. And um, bunch of uh, Scott said in previous in previous episodes that we're not like we're not that great, right? Yeah, I mean, guess, so what the, I've been, gotten second place twice in our league. Our, I feel like our league is like the most competitive that I've ever been in, and I've been in quite a few fantasy leagues throughout the years. Um. But I feel, I feel, fuck, I hate saying that. Um, advice. Give somebody advice. So Albert's advice last <laughs> week or the week before was draft two running backs in the first round, right? First and second round. Did you? Back to back. That's what you said. Did yeah. you? They just showed Cam leaving the, the locker room with a boot. Yep. Ooh. So Cam hey, Cam so looks so to be out for a while. Let me see. Yeah, he's got, uh, he's got. Frost on his foot. No. <laughs> Sharing the same fucking. Uh, look at this guy. Doesn't he? Well, look here's like, some unfortunate news, though, right? Really For those, Andrew if you guys haven't Andrew drafted Lux's. yet, <laughs> if you guys haven't drafted yet, a good pickup is if you can get is Antonio Brown. Or, or has he been picked? What? No, he's been picked in our league. Yeah. Oh. But I mean, he, he like last week when we oh, were so yeah, uncertain, we, he yeah. went so fucking low. Like that's what I hate about drafting so early. Don't draft so early. There's like, good advice. Yeah, I know. Draft the week before, draft, oh, like the weekend here. before yes. football goes, yes. so you know like what's going down. Because now Brown so is got, like ready to rock and roll. So, so now he'd be a top got, guy. Yeah, yeah, he would. So th- this lineup would change. Yeah, like the, no. Yeah, the uh, so you got two wide receivers. Yeah, right off the bat, I did the exact opposite of your advice, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna win. So, um, okay. <laughs> who is your running backs? Uh, I don't know. Mark, I don't have running backs. Mark, I, I don't think I drafted any running Mark's backs. Like, I still, yeah, you did. Uh, Freeman. Yeah, Mark, Mark's like, oh, so I still gotta look at those. I went. Pre- no, I went pretty heavy in Atlanta. Mitchell. Like the entire, like the, my entire draft, I went pretty heavy at Atlanta. I took, I took a lot of risks too. Why did you go pretty heavy at Atlanta? Um, well, Julio says that he wants two thousand yards this year. Matt Ryan and Julio. I want a million dollars, bro. Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. Hey, you're making moves to make it happen. I think you got it. <laughs> yeah, 
Right? Exactly. Don't, don't say it's not going to happen. You want a million dollars? Put it out in the universe and make yeah, it happen. You got it. But this buddy. year. Uh, yeah, Put it out in the universe. You got four and months. Fucking make it happen. Yeah. Play some scratches, bro. <laughs> You're. Some you got scratches. some shit in motion. We'll figure it out. Yeah. If we got to rob a bank, we'll rob a bank. Okay. <laughs> Good luck finding a million dollars in cash there. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Most vaults have. Hey, a million can we? Dollars. Uh, the bank's like, can we give you credit? Can yeah. we give you a credit card, bro? Leave yeah, it. dude. Let's just buy a house that's really cheap, uh, and that's worth you know a million plus. And then we'll just turn around and pull equity out. Okie dokie. <laughs> yeah, that would work. And then we'll foreclose and let it go. <laughs> <laughs> Smart. Look at this guy. Take our financial advice. It works. So you guys have no like advice for those that are about to roll into their draft. I mean, you, you have the Antonio best. Antonio Brown is, is a good pickup. I think you try to Zeke try. Well, Ezekiel Elliott's now going to be probably starting. He's a top so four guy. About that, He's a so. fucking top four guy. Unfortunately, I, I think the best the best news is don't draft early like we did. Yep. And I, I think if you're in a PPR league that has a PPR, half PPR, we're a half PPR league. If you do Albert's advice, I think that's a good solid advice. Is go, running if, you're backs. Early, if you're early on, try to get the top two running backs if you can. Mm-hmm. If not, Mark did it well by being at the end of the draft and picking two top wide receivers. When you snake back, you have to wait a while, but I think that's probably your best bet. Yeah. I agree with that. I think I think I think we all drafted pretty solidly. I don't know about every. I mean, for us three, I don't know about everybody else. Without, You're right. Without looking at everything, but I think it's a good way to kind of judge it. Suck the toes. Suck the toes. Oh yeah. Sorry. What's that? What? What, what, is, he, what is he watching? What is he watching? <laughs> yeah. Right? right. All right. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. Oh shit, we did a good solid hour. That's nice. nice. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, sorry, dude. He's uh, <laughs> riding the rails. <laughs> so, uh, as I was saying, in Mexico, the yeah. uh, Albert was one of the two that got that clearance. <laughs> so got clearance, clearance recre- for recreational. recreational. Yeah. Nice, lucky Albert. No wonder you wanted to share that news. <laughs> right. All right. Well, make sure you guys check us out on all the socials and everything like that at Amigos PC. Uh, thanks for tuning in. And there's Albert. We got some Scott. Awesome. Mark. Signing out. Signing out. Okay. Hugs and kisses. Hugs and kisses. High fives. Mouth hugs. Oh, that's awesome.